Pisces, Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot for the Legend of the Reading. Today we have uh, what I call most likely a love reading because we have the card of the wedding and the king's children here. Mm -hmm. And uh, interesting here. I guess they call it the king's children because uh, he wants to marry her too. This is, yeah, somebody wants to marry you. And I guess this is seen as kind of a noble wedding, possibly. <laughs> Right, and here's the guy, and he's uh, waving to the woman who's uh, she's uh, the bride because she's dressed as a bride, and she's over on the other side of the embankment. So here he is, and the ocean is between them, and it's uh, it looks like it's pretty kind of unruly. He's gonna have to go climb that, you know, and uh, yeah, but uh, meanwhile he doesn't look like he's uh, much of an athlete here. But hey, he really wants her i'm sure he does in this reading <laughs> he does and so he's uh he has his arms up like wait i'm coming i feel like somebody wants you to know this wait i'm coming yeah i'm pretty sure here and where she is uh is where this large candle is and these beautiful trees and a castle way up on a hill and uh the rainbow is behind it so he knows the happiness and the joy is over here with her or the happily ever after is with her because of the rainbow wait i'm coming yeah maybe somebody wants is you know wants you to wait or you know or they're just coming right yeah and so we start here sagittarius we have new cards today yeah we're always trying to keep you guys entertained we are we have the moon flower the sky god and the blue moon so these are moon cards. They are, uh, but they are not, you know, I have another deck that is a moon deck. Let's see what they have to say about the moon flower. That's really pretty. It's like a pink moon. And they have these little kind of, I forget what they call these flowers, but they're really beautiful and they're real small and real cute. Yeah. And this is blossoming growth and accomplishments. Of course, right? I was just speaking of kind of beauty and, and, and growth with these flowers. This is the card of personal growth, and it indicates that a time of blossoming is about to begin. It can mean that you take on a new challenge or hobby, or that you become more self-aware, more emotionally intelligent and resilient. Somebody here, I believe in this reading, is, has become that way. Yeah, we have self-worth here, and I feel like in the past, maybe they didn't have this self-worth it just looks like somebody went through a huge change here and you know they're like wait i'm coming i feel like i grew up uh it looks like that in this reading already right uh whatever the external circumstances could be whatever the catalyst moonflower is here to encourage you to open up and show your brightest boldest colors to the world yeah i was talking about the colors now is not the time to hide away and stagnate or to stay closed up and tight as a bud now is the time to turn your face to the light and drink in that which nourishes you yeah somebody wants to nourish uh in you right and dr like drink from your cup but basically to it, it sounds like they're gaining energy from you uh and just uh what's the word hope and enthusiasm you can tell here because we see the word encourage right moonflower is here to encourage you to open up this is about somebody's very enthusiastic and they're coming yes growth can be painful at times occasionally coming through coming about through difficult life lessons but have faith that you will all be better for it in the meantime become an active participant in your personal growth by setting yourself a new goal somebody already set the goal they set the goal, uh, the goal post, uh, Sagittarius, and you're there, right? Once they, yeah, mm -hmm, for sure you're there. Uh, you are the goal. We have the sky god. Let's see. Mm -hmm. We got this kind of, I don't know, good looking kind of uh, dark, dark man here, right? Let's see what they say. Empowerment, kindness, and fun. Yeah, there's something, this person feels like you have empowered them, and I feel like they are empowered to show up for you. Yeah. And they're coming to express their love to you because this is not a time to be quiet or closed up, and they know this. This is like somebody planned this. Your person planned this to come forward, and they think you're, you're fun. Yeah, Sagittarius, they think you're, you know, Lots of fun, right? Yeah, what do they call that when you're fun in bed? I forgot, right? <laughs> it could be that kind of fun, but it could be all kinds of fun, right? Uh, mm -hmm. And this is, 
The divine masculine offers you strength, protection, and resilience. And then we're talking about resilience with the moon flower as well, being resilient. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now it might be a time of difficulty, but know that you have the inner fortitude to rise to this challenge. The sky god fills you with a sense of empowerment and determination. He is known in fable as the man in the moon, for he is the light that the moon reflects. He asks you to reflect on the direction of your own light and where you cast your energy. Are you giving too, many, too much energy to others and keeping none for yourself? Allow your kindness to shine, but be careful not to give out too much, or you could find yourself experiencing compassion fatigue. Be happy, joyful with others, and kind, but remember to be kind most to yourself. Somebody went through something, your person went through something difficult, Sagittarius, because uh, they talked about it in the Moonflower as well. This person went through, maybe they've been rejected by somebody. We have the card of rejection, but this card is about somebody who, this man uh, was a professor. I'm not sure if you're a person. He's like an art professor. But they either didn't like his art or he didn't like the conditions they put on, uh, what he was teaching, or, you know, they wanted them to do it, him to do it their way. And he's like, oh, no. I think they rejected him because he kind of did it his own way. But I feel like what this is, is that somebody could be getting rejected here because we have this card, uh, the fallen king. And they call it that because he has fallen from grace. Yes, he has. And we know grace is with honor, right? It is. It's also uh, gratefulness and beauty. But it is grace in terms of the king, right, uh, is, you know, honor. So this king has fallen, and the jester's laughing at him, showing him the mirror, going, you know what? You don't belong here. You've already fallen from grace. You're not doing a good job here, right? Because uh, a king is not, doesn't fall down on his butt and let the jester laugh at him. Supposed to be the other way around. So somebody's giving up their duties. That's what this card is about. The king is giving up his duties, right? And he could be seen as somebody who was maybe corrupt, sometimes doesn't have to be right uh but somebody who like whatever whatever they were doing they either didn't do a good job or it didn't work for them or they're just leaving and they're not leaving sometimes uh in good graces yeah or with a good reputation or something like that mm -hmm. because there could be a rejection going on here there definitely could we also have the blue moon mm -hmm. A really old song blue moon kind of a happy song but you know i really wasn't into it in the 50s yeah uh this is manifestation power and auspicious now this is not suspicious sagittarius you could be saying what i'm gonna knock you out i'm very articulate right auspicious is favorable right the opposite <laughs> it's favorable and uh this is a, a favorable time to manifest and somebody is taking their power or they have the power with the blue moon the magical moon of manifestation when there are two full moons in any one calendar month we just had a, a super we just had a blue moon a couple months ago i think it was maybe it was november but Mm -hmm. It was not December, but it is, you know, in, the, in near the end of the year, right? When there are two full moons in any one calendar year or calendar month, it is the magical moon of manifestation. The second moon is called the blue moon. It usually only occurs every couple of years, hence the saying, once in a blue moon. Yeah, my mom used to always use that, once in a blue moon, right? Once in a while, right? And uh, for sure. Because it is rare, it is considered to be a most auspicious time for goal setting. Yeah, it's this is like a, a rare time or it only happens once in a while and uh, the window is open now. This person might think that this is the right time to do this. Like this is the favorable time or the auspicious time for them to come forward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's what's going on here. Spellcasting and general manifestation. When this card turns up, you're being invited to seek out the possibilities in your life and to dream big. What would you do if you could do anything? Well, what it is, Sagittarius, is come and get married. Come and marry you. Because here's the wedding, and here's the the man calling out to his bride. She goes, well, we can't get married till you swim across here, right? I told you to work out. Look at your little wimpy muscles, right? Mm -hmm. And he goes, I'm the king. I'm going to, you know, well, he's the king's 
the king's uh, son. Maybe he's uh, a prince. But, you know, long story short, though, uh, he's he has his hands. He's, wait, I'm coming, right? And he knows here that this ocean, he's going to have to get across it. So your person knows that there's there's something, some, some type of, uh, you know, seventh sea or some type of really kind of uh, stormy sea that they had to or they have to swim. This person might be rejecting somebody. Yeah, I think they're giving something up here to come to you. And this is what has been so difficult. Yeah, I'm pretty sure here. We have the rejection card and the dissipating card is here. And this dissipating card can talk about just letting something kind of die out. It can. Uh, let's have a look here. Let's see what that, uh, let's see what they say about the dissipating card. And here's the old woman, and she's bored with her life for sure because she's sitting here watching this uh, detective movie, right? And uh, her bird's over here. It's probably telling her, you know, get up and go live your life. But she's an older woman, but. Long story short, she looks like she's bored with her life. Yeah, she does. Let's see what they say about disappointing, dissipating. Mm -hmm. And the yellow cards talk about exploring your thought processes. Mm -hmm. So let's see what it says about the dissipating card. I am more than I think I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, somebody here, they have thoughts, and your person here is thinking all about coming forward, and I feel like they've been dealing with low self-worth because here's the self-worth card. And she's looking at the empty chair, right, where self-worth is supposed to be sitting. Mm -hmm. Beware of being imprisoned by the story you tell. The, the one you tell to yourself. Do you intend to do what you say? This person has been telling them they're, they're, that themselves they were going to come forward, but they've been afraid. It does look like that. A lack of planning does not indicate misfortune. Am I doing what I say? These are possibilities, right? Taking action, content to dream, going in circles, strong intelligence, making excuses, you see? And pro procrastinating. They've been making excuses. That's because they've been, uh, they went through something difficult here. For me, this person's giving up another union or some huge part of their life to come forward or changing their life entirely. Giving up their life as they know it. This is how it appears here. Mm -hmm. Keywords here, companionship, connection, and assistance. And so rejection was right before it. And this talks about... They won't use me. Wow. Could be. So the blue moon, here they are taking this once in a, like, it looks like it's a once in a lifetime opportunity for this person, kind of, right? Or they know the time is now. It's favorable. They have to come now. And this is clear because they've been procrastinating with the dissipating card. Yeah. Cry babies. Just kidding, you guys. In case you're a cross watcher, right? <laughs> you see, we have we're having fun over here, right? We're trying here, and so, mm hmm. And this card, they won't use me. And this is, am I working with or against my environment? What is the purpose of my present solitude? This person's been in solitude. Here's the rejection card, and they've been procrastinating. This talks about you don't have to be. On the inside track, be true to yourself and you will not be unhappy. Rejection is spirit's protection. Your person was either rejected or they're rejecting something here. And it's clear they're rejecting it because Sagittarius, they know you're their bride or their husband or their lifelong partner. If you don't want to go get married, you know, they look like they're at church. Or, yeah, they look, they look like they're walking out of the church here. But, you know, you can get married wherever you want. Or, or if you don't want a formal marriage, right? You can be saying, we're just going to say uh, we love each other and, you know, whatever you want to say, Sagittarius. I'm certainly not here to tell anybody uh, what they're supposed to say. No. Uh, others approvals, unsupportive environment, working alone, arrival of a teacher. He is a teacher. Protection, exclusion, and development. This person is excluding something in their life in order to basically develop. They're developing as a person. They have grown. That's what the sky god says here. Yeah, 
And so now we have self-worth, and here we see uh, the little girl here. She's looking at the chair, like, where's my self-worth at? So this person has been in solitude. They've been procrastinating. I feel like they've been in a little bit of fear. But I feel like whatever difficulty they're coming out of has empowered them. I feel like it has. And so now they're like, well, uh, this is the best time. This is a favorable, t favorable time. I need to take advantage of it. Like they feel like the time's now, I believe. Right? And uh, here they are giving up whatever they're giving up here uh, with the fallen king. Right? Let's get into the reading, Sagittarius. And uh, what time are we at? We are at... 15 minutes. Wow. 15 minutos, right? Let's see what we got for Sagittarius, please. And uh, let's see what we have for Sagittarius. And your person, right? Or let's see what we have for Sagittarius' person and Sagittarius. Uh, however you cut it, it's all the same, right? Let's see what we have. And uh, we're going to get the clarifier here, which is the same deck, uh, but in a small version. Yeah, it is. Let's, let's see. Let's see where that deck is. Let's see. The bottom of the deck here is uh, judgment. This is a rebirth for you and this person. Mm -hmm. So they're coming back to do it again. To try over with you, it looks like. It looks like they're going to ask you for forgiveness. It just feels this way in this reading. Uh, mm -hmm. And we also have... The Seven of Wands, this is somebody who stands up uh, for what they believe in. And one of these cards, I think it's a Sky God, Sky God, talks about do just doing that. Stick up for yourself. Speak your must speak. Stand up for yourself. Maybe it was a moonflower. It could have been. We also have the Knight of Cups here. They're coming here to bring you their love. Uh, they could be overwhelmed or they believe you're going to resist them. Because nobody procrastinates for nothing. Sagittarius. Procrastination is usually fear. A, a, a self-help coach will tell you that, right? Or if you listen to enough of these videos uh, and, you know, uh, or you just, you know, uh, look up a, a procrastination video. It's fear. Fear of either, you know, it's not going to work for you or fear, uh, any kind of fear. Somebody won't like what you're doing, whatever, right? Let's get into it and uh, let's see what we have for Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. And we have the Ten of Swords. <laughs> OMG, right? I have 78 cards. And uh, mm -hmm. this talks about ending right here where the king is giving up his duties. And this rejecting card talks about an ending. It talks about rejection is God's protection. That's really what it is, right? Yeah, you, I mean, you, that can happen when you go to a job. You go to a job, you go, I didn't get it. Right? And then later on, you're like, God, I'm so glad I didn't get that job because, you know, uh, that witch so-and-so works over there and, uh, you know, everybody's getting fired and it's just a bunch of drama and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I got something better, right? And let's see, we have the star coming into play, Sagittarius. Yeah, we also have the moon here. It's left in the past. So the confusion and darkness is left in the past. It is. And uh, your person or you is ending something. Uh, ending something and supporting that is the chariot. This is movement or this is uh, challenging it. And in this reading, for some reason in your reading, it's always both, right? But this is uh, challenging this person because they're coming out of something difficult. So let's see what else we have. And we have the, the five of wands. Uh, okay, and it's kind of like the Seven of Wands, right, we just saw. Knight of Swords, Nine of Swords, okay, ouch, and then we have Four of Cups, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's get, uh, let's get cards from the little deck, my little friend here, yeah, you guys ever see that, uh, Fantasy Island, right? <laughs> Uh, who says that? Scarface says that. This is my little friend, right? Uh, wasn't the Al Pacino and Scarface? You haven't seen Scarface? Uh, go watch it. It's a great movie. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the heart of the matter, Sagittarius, we see an ending. Uh, we see something. The hardest part is over, and some in this person's ending. I believe it is. 
uh, because they're coming, and I feel like they give, they're giving up their duty somewhere, right? In this chariot card showing up. Let's see what else we have supporting that. Mm -hmm. They're over. They want to overcome all the obstacles with you too. I feel like they do with judgment showing up. Uh, they might have low self worth because of what they have done to you in the past. Or maybe they didn't do anything. Maybe you did it. But this person's suffering from some type of uh, self, low self-worth, not just self-worth. Yeah, okay, Denise. Here's the death card in the heart of the matter here. OMG and the nine of cups. We'll take all these cards because they wanted to come out, right? And so here in the heart of the matter is movement, a victory, overcoming obstacles, and an ending, uh, and a transformation with the death card with the Nine of Cups, because you are their wish, and here they are in transition. This person's already on their way. Now, you know, they're on their way. They're on their way in their heart, but they're on their way physically as well, I believe, because of the Chariot and the Six of Swords. These are both movement. Yeah. And this blue moon. It's like, I gotta take the advantage of this now. Right? I feel like this person thinks that the window's closing. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Coming into play is the star, Sagittarius. Hope, faith, inspiration, a new beginning, healing, a naked woman, right? Yeah. And the high priestess is reversed. Okay. Did I reverse these? No. It's reversed. So, for me, this is an unveiling. I believe the secret's going to be exposed here. Or a hidden motive. That, like, the veil is going to be lifted here. It could also be your person here has already trusted their intuition. We know this, right? This is definitely a reading about somebody who is trusting their intuition because they think this is the right time to come. Right? And so, let's get another card here because... That card, uh, this High Priestess Reverse, can also talk about Pisces or Scorpio, right? Maybe your person is Pisces, ouch, or Scorpio. It's unknown, right? It's still unknown. Yeah, let's see what we have here. We, 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 we're not sure what sign. They're, they're, you know, they're one of 12 signs, I think. Yeah. <laughs> let's see what else we have here. Six of Pentacles. This could be somebody knows here as well. Somebody are like a secret's being lifted, and somebody knows here that this six of pentacles. It can talk about your person just knows. They're just trusting. They've already trusted their whole their intuition here, uh, and you know. But this six of pentacles, it just looks like there's some type of. It could be a third party here for sure. Let's see what else we have. Here. Let's see what else for Sagittarius's person. Uh, for Sagittarius person, the King of Pentacles, and we'll get another card, Knight of Swords. So here's the Knight of Swords showing up in uh, in how you are being affected by somebody else or by other people. And somebody's being cut out. And this also talks about uh, something's being cut away or cut out. Something is being, because that's why the king is giving up his duties, right? Here he is flat on his back. And uh, this is, so this is what's happening in this reading. And let's see what else we have. Yeah, this is a very, this is a trip here. Somebody is being, I feel like somebody's being left behind right here. And I feel like that's what this rejection is, God's protection. I feel like what this means is you're supposed to be with this person. And they're moving something out of their life. And they realize that uh, something else that is not working out for them. Uh, because they're supposed to be with you. But it could be, too, that you didn't work out with them in the past. And now... Uh, it's better that you guys, maybe for some, you didn't work out, it didn't work out with you and them in the past. And it's better because we started this car, uh, this reading with the moon flower and the sky god. And one of them talks about major uh, mature empowerment. The sky god is empowerment, but there's growth here. There's some type of spiritual and emotional growth. And I beg your pardon, I can't remember what, uh, you know, I'm not, yeah, I didn't remember what card it is, but, you know, these are brand new cards today, Moonflower, yeah, brand new. Let's see, the moon and the hermit reverse, lots of majors here, the, and we have the fool reversed. The fool reversed, it can talk about somebody was afraid in the past, possibly. This can talk about your person being in solitude, and one of these cards is saying that they were in solitude. 
Yeah. Mm hmm They're coming out of solitude. This is not the time to be stagnant or closed off. Mm hmm They could be Virgo, Aries, or Cancer, or Pisces. We have three majors in the past. And so... This could be saying, uh, this person's no longer afraid, because here, the two of cups, see? Yeah, they're no longer afraid, they love you. And what is, uh, what you're expecting, Sagittarius, is the five of wands, or what you want. So this is, you could be expecting this person to feel kind of chaos, or fighting with somebody. You might know about their situation. Let's get another card. This is a struggle, though. It doesn't always have to be fighting with somebody. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you might think that this person is fighting for you, fighting to come forward for some. To have this Ace of Pentacles, a brand new beginning. You could be, yeah, you could be thinking they're fighting with somebody. The Fool in the Reverse can talk about somebody who sometimes was a real jackass, right? Could be to somebody. Like, you can talk about a trickster, too, right? You can. The reverse, like a, a fool. Like, sometimes you can. Let's see what else we have. Like a real fool. Like a jerk, right? It could be a woman. It doesn't have to be a man. Yeah, we're, we're equal over here. We are. And uh, we have the Ten of Pentacles. You look like you are, like, uh, you think you're going to win this competition for some. You might know all about this. This could be what you want. You might want this person to uh, be in crisis so they will show up for you. Like, I want you to feel like you could. You could be wanting them to, like, kind of be in, you know, fight with somebody and get it over with. It's possible. This is, uh, it's a very deep reading, right? We have a lot of cards here. Cross with me. Cross, you know, I'm using these small cards, and you know they're, they're filling up the table. <laughs> I usually don't use these cards, and I'm kind of going uh, going to town on them. And in the near future is the Nine of Swords. This is worry, but this Nine is I'm pushing. I'm pushing forward to the Ten. So these are completions, but this person here, or you, is very worried here. Or somebody else who's just being left behind. And the Nine of Wands is a wounded warrior, but these are both Nines. So I believe this is this person. They probably suffer from self, uh, low self-worth here. They could be, and it's right next to the, the, you know, the fallen king who gives up his post. This could be somebody giving up their post as a, in a marriage. But it can also be like, uh, especially next to the self-worth card. Like, I feel really lousy about, about giving up on another relationship. But this reading, somebody has to have you, Sagittarius. They do, right? It's like, you know, you wanted that red bike on Christmas, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, how you are being affected by other people, Knight of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. For me, this is this person thinking they're going to come in fast. Two of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, yeah. And how you are affecting this person is the King of Swords. So you have uh, influenced them greatly to make a decision about their life. King of Wands, see, about you. Let's get another card. And the Page of Swords. This is how you have influenced them. So they've already made the decision, but here they are wondering uh, if you're going to, I believe you're going to want them, or how you're going to respond. I feel like this person's come, for some, they're coming out of nowhere. I love you, and I want, I want you back. And your hopes and fears is the Four of Cups. I mean, you might be afraid they're gonna they're bored with you. I don't think so. I feel like you're hoping they're gonna reject somebody because this is a card of rejection, and here is rejection here. You could be also hoping that they don't think that you're gonna reject them because there's this person has some fear. We're coming anyway, but they have some fear. And we have the star. You're hoping for a new beginning, you're hoping to heal this. You maybe are hoping they won't feel rejected, right? And then they won't show up for you. But trust me, they're showing up for you here. Uh, we have the king. Uh, the king. We have the wheel of fortune and the outcome. 
and this is you or this is fate and destiny uh, coming into play the king of swords Page of Pentacles. This is a new start you have with this person. And they've decided this because they value you. This Page of Pentacles can talk about personal development sometimes. Here's uh, all the fertility underneath him, which shows it can show growth. This person has grown. Yeah, they've grown, and uh, mm -hmm, which is really good. We're going to go to the extended. And let's see, we're going to start uh, your person spread here. And their first card, why it's all happening, is here they are giving up their life as they know it. The fallen king. Maybe they feel like people are judging them, maybe. And crossing them here is the wedding. This is supporting them and challenging them. So this person had to leave something here, and it's been difficult for them because this sits in the challenge, and it also sits in the supporting, uh, supporting position. So what this means is that uh, they really want to marry you here and they're willing to give something up. Why it's all happening is the king's children. And here he is calling out to his future wife, right? Because she's dressed to get married. Hey, wait for me. I'm coming. We're going to get married. He looks like he's dressed to get married, right? He does. Uh, like in these days, right? Mm -hmm. We're, this is going to be a 10 card spread. I really want to see what it, uh, what it has to say. We're also going to have a tarot spread on them, Sagittarius, to see how they feel, uh, their advice, what they're focusing on, what's in their corner, what's assisting them. Mm -hmm. I feel like it is their love here for you. Uh, and the fact that they, I believe, think that you are a soulmate. And this is uh, calling them. Uh, and this is the universe calling them, for sure it is. They're all super affordable, Sagittarius. I have the link below in the description box. Thank you so much for joining me here, you guys. God bless. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.